here we have a piecewise function. So there's this little chunk over here, and then there's this little chunk over here. These dots uh, that are filled in mean uh, means that this chunk includes this value at uh, 2, uh, and it does not include this value here at 4, the empty dot. And we're being asked to give both the domain and the range in interval notation. So we need to remember that the domain is everything x can be, and the range is everything y can be. So let's look at the domain first, the x values. So there are no x values over here. The first x value, if you start from the left of the graph here, starts at negative 3. And this chunk of the, of the piecewise function goes up to but doesn't include where x is 0. So the first part of this I would write in interval notation as square bracket because I'm including this first value, this negative 3, up to but not including 0, so I do the, the rounded bracket. But then there's another set of x values here from 2 to 4, and it includes 2, but it does not include 4. So we're going to put a union symbol in here, and we're going to go from 2 to 4 and the rounded bracket here because it doesn't include 4. So that's what this function does on the x. What does it do on the y? Well, if we look at this first chunk, it goes from negative 2 up to negative 1, but it doesn't include the negative 1. But over here, it goes from negative 4 up to a positive 1, which includes this. So the, the point where y equals negative 1 does not get excluded because it's, it's right here. It's over here on this other chunk. So really, we can express the range as just one expression here, one interval, uh, going from negative 4, but not including it, up to 1 and including 1. So the range would be, oops, not including negative 4. So a round bracket up to and including 1. So that Actually, let me, let me write that bracket a little bit better. So that is our range, negative 4 to 1. And that is how to uh, write the domain and range of a piecewise function in interval notation.